Sarah. Sheriff Stephen Jay here. I'm back in the world of the magical couch from the world up above. Yeah, just in time, too, for the children's corner. When I'm sitting around with my homework all done and there's nothing to do, I call all of my friends. They don't answer the phone. Where have they gone to? Well, I'm thinking and I'm thinking with the TV right in front of me when something catches my eye. Hi there. Didn't see you. Sheriff Stephen Jay here. Welcome back to the Children's Corner. As you can see, I'm tidying up a bit. Haven't been able to do much in the last couple days. No, we had to arrest Black Bart over at the Raccoon Saloon for allegedly robbing the stagecoach. Well, we actually know he did rob the stagecoach, but he has a hard time telling the truth about it. We keep asking him about it, and... Uh, it's just amazing, this guy, you know? I can't believe it. He just wouldn't believe the things he tells us. This guy wouldn't recognize the truth if it hit him over the head. Well, it's just amazing what he's doing. Right now, what I'd like to do is, um, since you're here, I'd like to read you a story before I tell you more about the Black Bart incident. The story's called The Stinkles in Stankwell, and it happened about, well, three or four towns from here. Let me get the book. All right, okay. The Stinkles and Stankwell. All right, let's all get comfortable. I'll tell you the story. After I put on my glasses. <laughs> I'll tell you. Ah, there you go. A Sasha's best friend is a Stinkle, they say. Not a very nice creature, mean tricks they do play. For Stinkles are stinkers, and good they are not. They are worse than a slouch and cause problems a lot. The mayor of Stankwell is Boris Demine, the sneakiest Stinkle you ever have seen. In the world of the magical couch once a year, there's a day that is special, a time Stinkles fear. This day is called Love's Day, it makes Stinkles sick. Their beaks all turn red. They don't like this a bit. Now Love's Day was coming. The weather was fair. And all were preparing. There was love in the air. The pranksters in Prankstown were buying their sweets. The groks out in Grokshire were wrapping their treats. On one of the hills behind Slouchville there sat Boris Demine on a peak that was flat. With his hand to his mouth, his finger did wrap the tip of his beak tapping tap, 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 tap. He hated the kindness, the love and the fun. He hated it all. Something had to be done. Behind Boris Demine, about two peaks away, were the grumps busy working like they did every day. For there is a dam where the grumps all do work, way up in those hills, and the boss grump is Kirk. It began getting late. Boris stood up to go. How to stop the day loves day he still didn't know. He turned from the towns, for now it was night. But off in the distance, he saw a bright light. He thought for a minute, but couldn't figure it out. What could this light be? What's this light all about? He turned to a trail to walk from the peak, then suddenly stopped and started scratching his beak. I know what that was, Boris smiled ear to ear. That's the dam of the Grumps. An idea appeared. He smiled and was happy, to himself he did say, I'll take care of them all. I'll wash Love's Day away. Boris ran down the hill back to Stankwell he raced. He ran to Town Square where a platform was placed. On the platform he stood, his voice he did blast. 
shouting, come here, all stinkles. Your sickness won't last. Boris held up his finger at the crowd it did shake. To stop Love's Day this year, the grumps, damn, we must break. Boris was grinning. I will only need four, just four volunteers to accomplish this chore. Four Stinkles stepped up. There were Tommy and Chad and Alex and Brian, and all four were glad. In the darkness of night, the Stinkles prepared to do their bad deed that had never been dared. Their plan, it was simple. To the dam they would go and let out the water on the towns far below. Inside the Grumps Dam were two wheels on a wall with a sign, do not touch, a warning for all. Boris pointed and said in a voice high and shrill, those open the gates that makes water spill. Boris stood back and smiled as he said, let's trim those wheels now, I don't like my beak red. In the world of the magical couch came a roar of loud rushing water and wow did it pour. It poured on each town, but on a happier note, each town was prepared. They had many a boat. In pranks down, the clowns even had better plans as they sat in their boats, fishing poles in their hands. But Stankwell was different. There weren't any boats. They didn't have rafts. They didn't have floats. The town known as Stankwell was being washed out. The Stinkles were worried. Oh no, Boris shout. While the Stinkles were swimming, the grunts had come through and turned the wheels back, the gates each closed too. The platform was floating in Stankwell's town square with Boris Demean just stranded out there. His head in his hands, his plant, it had flopped. Now his town was in ruin, Love's Day hadn't been stopped. He looked and saw boats, several hundred I'd say, floating right into Stankwell, all headed his way. These boats picked up Stinkles, young Stinkles and old, and gave them warm blankets to help fight the cold. The Stinkles, the Pranksters, the Slouchers and Grocks, the Wheezes, the Wises, and Bart, the Green Schlocks, they all saw a spot not one could deny on Boris's face beneath his left eye. They leaned forward all quiet. Boris now was real near. And they saw that this spot was a very small tear. In the world of the magical couch once a year is a day known as Love's Day, which Stinkles don't fear. This day makes them ill, this day makes them sick, but it's only one day and is over real quick. For Stinkles are stinkers and love's not their thing. They play their mean tricks and troubles they bring. But they know what love is and they know what it's for. They know kindness and caring is not bought in a store. They know that love's good, they know that love's great. They know it means sharing, but they still hesitate. For a stinkle to love is a very large task, but they now understand it. What more could you ask? The end. The Stinkles and Stankwell. You know, uh, I think it's a pretty good story. I think that's a great message and happened nearby, and I just want to share that with you folks today. But let's get back to the Black Bart problem I have right now. Deputy Larry and I, we arrested Bart over at the Raccoon Saloon for the stagecoach robbery. We talked to him for uh, a few days. He refuses to admit that he had anything to do with the stagecoach robbery. So Deputy Larry and I, we left him to think about it for another couple of days with a couple of prisoners in the cell with him. And uh, basically, here's how it went. Hey, you. Must have made a wrong turn somewhere. You wouldn't happen to know the way to Stas County, would you? Well, 
Well, I didn't quite hear that. Come again. I don't think you realize who I am, stranger. Speaking of which, you're one weird dressed hombre. What is this place anyway? Okay, fine. And congratulations. Your silence is just one you dire consequences. Black Bart fears no man. No man, no way, no how. You get me? No man disrespects the likes of Black Bart. Somebody was sneaking up on you? <laughs> you disgust us, Bart. Shit, shit! Oh. oh, hi there, Deputy. Look at you. All cleaned up, all ready for the punishing. And it's not even Saturday. <laughs> <laughs> what you reading? Oh, this? Oh, this is a new publication. It's put out uh, by some Karen folks. It's called the Title 15. Very funny stuff in here. It'll never happen, but, you know, it's interesting reading. What's it about? Well, basically, these folks seem to think they should be telling us how we should handle our prisoners. You know, stuff like, uh, you know, recreation time and hot meal every day and, uh, well, we should check on them every hour. <laughs> I don't think I've seen our prisoners in two days. <laughs> oh, before the punishment, should we go check on them? Okay. Got the keys. Great, let's do it. It sure didn't look like those two prisoners were uh, very impressed with Black Bart now, did it? Now, Deputy Larry and I, we decided we'll go back to the cell on our way to an event that we're going to. And we'll ask Bart one last time, what happened? What'd you do? How'd it go down with this stagecoach robbery? And this is, oh, 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 pardon me, folks. Someone's out the door. Come on in. Hey, it's Royce Wright, the alphabet man. Hey, hey Royce, how's the weather out there? Oh, sure cold out there today, Sheriff. Oh, I heard it might snow. Yeah, those clouds look like they can spit it out any time. Wow. Oh, sure hope I'm not interrupting anything. Oh, no, no, no. I was telling the uh, folks here about uh, Black Bart and what he's been up to, and he can't tell the truth. And Anyway, I'll just tell them the story, but I can finish it later. Oh, yeah, okay. Uh, what time is it anyway? Let, let me look. I don't know. It's a little early today. Oh, would you look at that? You're right on time. So, what's for brunch today there, uh, Royce? Ooh, 
Something warm and probably really healthy for us, Sheriff. That sounds yeah. really good. What is it? Oh, well, I've been thinking all day and thinking, and it's on the tip of my tongue, but I just can't think of it. Well, well, you know, all you need to do to jog your memory is to know today's word of interest. Hmm, that's a good idea. So what's today's uh, word of interest? It's another one that's on the tip of my tongue. Oh, uh. Christ, it's not going to do us any good if everything's on the tip of your tongue. You've got to get it out there into the airwaves so we can hear it. Yeah, you're right, Sheriff. Uh -oh. How are we going to do it? I, I, just a minute, phone's ringing. Let me Watch. catch this. Uh. Hello? Yeah, Sheriff Stephen J. Oh, it's Bob from Rockland. Yeah, Bob from Rockland. What can I do for you? Uh-huh. Oh, you do? What would that be? It's a little different. All right, I'll let him know and see what he says. Hey, thanks a lot. Hey, Bob, take care now. Bye-bye. Well, have you thought of it yet? What that word is? No, sir, I haven't. Have you thought about what you've decided to have for brunch today? Well, you're off the hook. Bob called and uh, he has an idea. It's not a word of interest, it's a term of interest. What might that be, sure? Stir fry. Stir fry, very good, Bob, good idea. Stir fry, S-T-I-R, second word, fry, F-R-Y. Stir fry, you know what that is, Sheriff? Two words. Bob, that was a good one. Use very little oil in your pot or pan and you heat it up and you can flash fry either meats or vegetables and very little oil at a high temperature. And that's what stir fry is. Sounds pretty good. Well, yeah. what are we stir frying? Well, how about some good old broccoli? It has a lot of vitamins in it. And oh, warm. I'm ready to go. All right. Oh, I've got one little problem. I don't have broccoli or I don't think I have the ingredients needed for the stir fry. Don't you worry, Sheriff. I brought some along. Oh, really? Yeah, you just I happen sure to have did. ingredients yeah. for the stir fry. What are you over. doing? Hey, it's cold out there. Look at here. I got some broccoli. Right here. Oh, well, look at that. Yeah, all the vitamins in it and all you can't imagine. And just vacuum, too. Oh, sorry about that, Sheriff. Hey, that's all right. So, um, I, we have a dog. <laughs> but anyway, so the stir fry, um, you going to make it up right now? Oh yeah, I'll go over here to the preparation table in the kitchen and start whipping it out. Let's go to the preparation table. Let's do it. All right. Oh yeah, it's looking good. Oh yeah, it's warm at least, huh? Oh yeah, nice and warm. Yes, well let me uh, put my thinking cap on here, get relaxed and... Uh, whew. All right, casual. So what we have here, so we have some boiling water that's salted a little. We'll put our broccoli in there. We'll put our little pan on here when we get ready. First of all, let's get the broccoli in so we can get that cooking. All right. And, um, you know, uh, I don't think this is broccoli. That's uh, Mr. Dill, the angry green pickle. Yeah, and he, he looks angry. Your buddy. <laughs> you sit here, boy. Watch us cook. All right, so let's take out this broccoli. Let's cut her up. Remember, you want to do this as a family. This is, uh, you have hot water boiling and you don't want to um, take the house down. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. And always wash your vegetables, Sheriff, because that sand is, it's a little gritty. Especially if you keep them in your shirt. That's right. Ah, <laughs> uh, well, you know, you got to keep warm out there. So we'll take this broccoli here. You're using the broccoli to keep yourself warm? <laughs> Whatever it takes, Sheriff. Yeah, well, you know. Maybe well. it'll make it tastier. <laughs> so get that going in there. We'll take out our uh, pan here. Now, my buddies on the railroad, they, uh, uh, my Chinese buddies, they have a thing, what they call a wok that they use. A wok? Yeah. How do you spell that? W-A-L-K? Pretty close. W-O-K. Oh. Okay. W okay. Yeah. Walk. All and right. It's it's uh it's kind of scientific. It's made uh, so the heat is distributed all over the pan, and it's uh, made for stir frying. Oh. Yeah. But this will work. This will work. Okay. We'll we'll uh, 
cook it up and I think you might like it. So we'll get that broccoli steaming and then, um, you, you know, I personally, I like the stems too. Some people don't, but I do. Um, they're I'll good for em. soups. I'll try them. All right. It's good for you. All the vitamins. I heard green. If it's green, it's good. That's right. Don't forget it. And uh, unless Mr. It's a, Dill. Unless it's Mr. Dill. That's right. He's looking at me. It's all right. So get some oil in here. This is a, a high-priced peanut oil. It's a little expensive, but it's good for you. And it's great for stir frying. I like peanuts. Yeah, they're good for you too. Everything's good for you, but you can't eat a lot of it. But you can't tell that from me, right? <laughs> <laughs> well, what, whatever do you mean? Oh, well, I, some people eat to live, and I live to eat. I see. Is that why you're a, a chef? That's right. So get that oil nice and hot. It'll smoke a little. We got the broccoli steam in here. And uh, it's looking pretty good too. So the other ingredients I use, I like a little soy sauce and a little um, sesame oil that gives it the flavor. Cool. So it's just not broccoli. Very it's, good. It has a little flavor and it's quick and easy. So what we'll do here, Sheriff, is this is pretty much um, done. So I'll turn this off and uh, I'm steaming that in, in a uh, uh, little basket here. It's a steam basket that goes inside that pan there. And you don't want to get the water um, into this hot oil, so be careful when you do it. Yeah, and you children out there, don't be trying this at yeah. home, but have your uh, parents, your mother, or your father help you out with this and uh, try this. It uh, sounds really good. I can only wait to try it. We'll get it going here, and we're, we're frying, and it's the least, amount, um, the least amount of oil, so you don't have a bunch of oil in here, and you're just kind of stirring it up. Henceforth. Stir fry. That's right, Sheriff. So that's all going nice. I'm going to pour a little of that sesame oil in there for all right. flavor. Alright. That's all right. made out of sesame seeds, by the way, Sheriff, mm -hmm. in case you didn't know. Oh. There we go. We got that going. This is how quick it is. We're going to put flavoring in here. This is our soy sauce. Yeah. Sizzle, sizzle. I'm going to go ahead and put the rest of this broccoli in there. That's the bonus broccoli. It hides on you. It's like the bonus, you know. Well, it's just mesmerizing me. Hey, that's a good word, mesmerizing. <laughs> You're getting carried away, Sheriff, with all your words today. I can only handle one. Well, you are the alphabet man. <laughs> we'll shut that off. Everything's off. And we're almost ready to eat. All right. There you go. Broccoli stir fry. Great. I'll shut our little oven off and stove and we're ready to eat. Well, let's put it in the uh, dishes and uh, let's do it. Let's warm up with some hot food. All right. Hot, healthy food. My nice uh, plates down here, Sheriff. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it looks good. There you go. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. Oh, yes. Again, this is healthy for you too, Sheriff. I can smell the peanut oil. Yes. All right, let's go eat. All right. Broccoli. Hmm. Healthy. Hmm. Hmm. Hasn't this guy ever heard of cake? Brownies. Hmm. Hmm. Oh. Mm. What do you think, Sheriff? It's great. Yeah? I really like this. I think Bob will, too. Mmm. Mmm. Thank you, Bob. Mmm. What time is it? Let's see. No. Oh. I can't believe the time has just flown by. I didn't get to finish my story, but uh, I'll tell you what, I'll finish my Black Bard story with you next time we meet, and thank you for dropping by today, hope you had a great time, and we'll see you next time on the Children's Corner. Oh, I love this. Mm -hmm. Ooh, mm -hmm. I like those stems too. Where do you go?